Hey guys, it's Autumn. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I upload my music to Spotify, iTunes, basically everywhere and how I do it using DistroKid. I've personally been using DistroKid for a while now and honestly I've been freaking loving it so far. So in this video I'm going to be going over why I think everybody should be using DistroKid and I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys so you know how to upload your music using DistroKid as well. I highly recommend you guys click my VIP link down in the description below to sign up because that's going to save you 7% off of your annual purchase. Which, who doesn't like to save money, right? Right! So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously um, click on the link and it's going to take you to this page. So again, you're going to get 7% off your first year's membership. So these are some of the benefits that you're going to be getting. Obviously, you're going to get your music onto all the stores, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon, Google Play, basically everywhere. You get to keep 100% of your royalties and you get paid monthly, which is pretty cool. It gets your music into the stores about 10 to 20 times faster than any other distributor. And the most affordable package is $19.99 and you get to upload unlimited songs for the whole year. And on top of keeping all of your earnings, you also have the option to do splits. So basically anyone that you collaborate with, you can give them credit and make sure that they're getting their portion of the earnings. And it's also got a whole bunch of other bonus features, which we will get into in just a sec. There's actually three different tiers from which you could choose from. Besides the musician account, which is what I initially started off with, there is the musician plus upgrade, which is what I have now. It gives you daily stats, customizable label name, release and pre-order dates, customizable iTunes pricing, and you can have up to two artists or bands on this account. And as for the label upgrade, that is for people that want to upload music for five or more artists or bands. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys what my account looks like. So this is my account. Um, these are the songs that I've uploaded through DistroKid this far. Um, I believe the first one that I uploaded was in 2018 and if I wanted to upload a new song I just go up here to upload and as you can see here these are all the stores that you are able to upload your music to so if there was a reason that you didn't want to upload your music to iTunes or TikTok you could check it off but I don't really think you would want to not check those. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and keep all of them. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to not distribute it to a store for whatever reason, you can just check it off and it won't distribute it there. Okay. So the next thing we have is how many songs you want to upload. And basically you can choose how many songs, obviously down here. And let's say we picked 10, then that would be an album. Um, I personally really like to just do singles for now. So it'll ask you if it has been previously released. If it's no, you're good. If it's yes, then you just say when it was released. And then it takes you to the artist slash band name. So I got my name on there already. And you need to make sure that when you're putting your name on this part, you're not including titles of the songs. You're not including other feature artists. This is just your name. And you also want to make sure that you're not doing anything super, you know, weird with your caps you want to make sure that it's kind of just regular title case because if you do do something that's like all caps or weird caps the stores will reject it and then here i'm already an apple artist already on spotify so if you've never uploaded music to either of those before you'll set that up here or if you have uploaded music to those places before then you'll be able to find your artist account here and by the way, you guys, when you upload your music to Spotify using DistroKid, you automatically get that verified check mark. Okay, so right here you get to set your release date. And I think it's pretty cool that DistroKid gives you some tips down here. So it says, setting your release date to at least one week in the future increases your chances of getting added to playlists. So I believe that this is an option that's only available to the Musician Plus and Label accounts. So if you do have that option, I would definitely take that recommendation of releasing your song at least a week, if not more out. It gives you more time, so if you want to do like any promotions or anything like that, and why wouldn't you want to increase the chances of potentially getting on a playlist? Otherwise, if you're kind of in a hurry and you want to have your music out as soon as possible, then you can just release it that same day. 
It's important to note though that some stores and streaming services might get your music faster than others. So just be patient with that. So if you do set up a future release date, then you have the option to click this and let people pre-order it before the actual release date. And with the Musician Plus upgrade, you can put a record label if you have one. I'm independent, so I just leave that blank. So album cover, obviously this is a section where you upload your artwork. And again, DistroKid makes it very easy. It tells you that it's a JPEG that is needed and it also tells you the size that is best. And it also tells you what to avoid so that the stores don't reject your artwork, which is very useful. So then you can go down here, select your language and then select a genre. So let's just say we were doing something electronic you could also select an electronic subgenre. And if you wanted to do another secondary genre, that's another option as well. And the next thing we have is song title. So again, they give you examples of how you should be typing in your stuff. So for example, right here, they have Sweetest Girl and then um, they have the feature right here in parentheses. So now you know that you're going to have to um, write the name of your song and then write the feature in parentheses. If there's like two features, you separate it with the comma. I can't stress enough how helpful it is that DistroKid has these light bulbs with examples next to it on how to type in your song. It just makes the whole process bulletproof in my opinion. If any of these apply to you, then there is an example right there telling you how to type in your title. And then finally down here, you get to choose your file for your song. I personally always upload my music in WAVE, but there's also an option to upload in MP3 and other formats as well. And then right here, it's just asking if it's an original tune or if it's a cover song. If it is a cover song, then you definitely want to read over this. I've only ever uploaded original music, so I don't have too much experience with this section yet. If and when I do though, I can definitely make a separate video on what that whole process is like. So moving on to songwriting and music credits. So you're going to want to write your real name for this part and DistroKid goes on to explain why. Typically songwriters are listed using real names, not stage names or rapper names or band names. So that is why you are putting in your real name rather than your stage name. So if you have explicit lyrics, obviously you'll want to click yes. Otherwise, it asks you if the song that you're uploading is a radio edit, and if it is, you can click yes right here. If it's not, obviously click no. And then this is pretty easy, obviously, if it contains lyrics, just check here. If it does not, and it's just an instrumental, you'll want to click this. And then right here, it's going to allow you to set a price for iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. So you can go all the way down to $0.69 cents or all the way up to $1.29. And then you go down here and these are a bunch of extras, which are optional, obviously. And I think this is a given. I don't know why people wouldn't want to have their music available to Instagram and Facebook. So I'll go ahead and check that off. And with Store Maximizer, basically what that does is any online stores or streaming services that are new, it'll automatically distribute your song to those as well. That's why when I look at my account, I see that some of my songs are in more stores than my earlier songs. And that's because I did not choose a store maximizer. So that might be something you want to think about. So one thing you might want to consider is Shazam and iPhone Siri. So this basically makes it easy for people to identify the single if they hear it playing on a radio, TV, or just anywhere else they might be. It's only 99 cents a year, so it's definitely something to think about. And the last optional thing is leaving a legacy. So this is basically a one-time fee and it basically makes it so that your song is going to stay everywhere, all the stores, all the streaming services forever. And if for some reason in the future you want to take it down, you can always take it down. Okay, so this is the last part. So basically these are mandatory checkboxes. So you can click the first one. I selected YouTube Music as a store, so I won't email DistroKid later asking, why did you upload my music to YouTube? Okay. So that's kind of funny because I remember when I first uploaded my music using DistroKid, I did see a YouTube channel that had my music uploaded and I was very confused. And I was like, what? What is this? But this basically explains why that happened, so silly me. <laughs> and then you'll want to check this box saying, I recorded this music and am authorized to sell it in stores worldwide and collect all royalties. 
and I'm not using any artist's name in my name, my song titles, album title without their approval. And the last thing is I have read and agreed to the terms of DistroKid distribution. And that's basically it, you guys. Very, very freaking easy if you ask me. Once again, when you do sign up for DistroKid, make sure that you are using the VIP link down below because it's going to save you 7% off of your annual purchase. If you don't click that link, you're not going to save money, so... All right, that's it for today's video, you guys. Please like the video if it was helpful. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys on the next one.